Hello, this tutorial will be about Mapbox. Mapbox works directly in the browser and got uh, several different products and works for different platforms. In this tutorial we will create a map. Here we go to get started and if you aren't already signed in yet, the window will pop up where you should sign in. That will bring us to the studio. In studio we have different categories. We got styles, title set and data set. And we want to create a new map with uh, a new data set. And therefore we have to create a new data set. The first data set will be a point data set. So the name is FH Villach point for that one. And we will just mark the location of the FH Villach. So in the upper right corner we got a search window and we search for the city of Villach. And then we zoom to the spot where the FH is. And here we mark it with a point feature. And after we mark it we have to add it and then give it an ID and a name. Afterwards we can save the file. So we get to save and save here and we have to export it so it's available later in our map. The status of the export process can be checked at the bottom right of the web page. Now you can go back to the studio main page. Here you can see the created point dataset and now we want to create a new one where we add a polygon. So the name is here FH Villach polygon. Again, first you have to search for the location of the FH. Now you can draw the polygon by clicking all the points of the outline shape. And to finish it, you just click the second time on the endpoint. Then you add again an ID and a name for it. And now we can first save it and afterwards export it again. Then we go back to the studio and switch to the title set. Here we can see now our two exported data sets. And now we are able to go and make our map. We start with the basic template. Then we rename our map and gave it the name FH Villach location and saved it. Then we again search for Villach to be on the right position. On the left side is our legend. Here you can change the style, for example make the blue of the water more dark. This gives you the possibility to create your own style. I will continue and make some changes in the style, but you can create your own. The legend on the left side can be grouped so you have a better overview on the layers you have already added. So we make a new group and give it a name just base because there are all the basic layers in here. And then we add our two created title sets. And here we also want to change the style. So first we want to change the style of the point feature. We want to use a symbol for it. And here we have to go to icon and then choose an icon we like. And afterwards we give it a name. And now we change the color of the polygon so we can see our text. So therefore we switch to the polygon layer, change here the color and then we can switch back. And as you can see the text is over the symbol so we have to fix that too. And now our map is finished, so we can share it. You can share it over a link, or you're also able to use the code 